start the learned counsel for the respondent has submitted that it was a registered marriage with one month prior notice given by the registrar of marriage the appellant and respondent were in love with each other four to five years prior to their marriage the learned counsel argued that it is a love marriage however this fact was suppressed by the appellant from her father due to fear and therefore she could not come and stay with the respondent oblique husband he further submitted that the petitioner is always ready and willing to go and cohabit with him and therefore not only they had sexual relations but she remained pregnant from her however she suffered miscarriage the allegations of fraud are not sustainable on the contrary the appellant lied therefore no decree can be passed on the ground of fraud misrepresentation or undue influence so also on the ground of non consummation of marriage he submitted that the second appeal must fail on the point of substantial question of law the court has come across the most ironical situation that both the parties though unanimously claim that they did not stay together even for a day are fighting with each other for 9 years on the issue of their nuptial relationship thus without leading a married life even for a day the dispute of nullity is going on for 9 years on the point of nullity two substantial questions of law are raised in view of requirement of section 25 of special marriage act section 24 of the special marriage act is about marriages which are void ab initio and section 25 of on voidable marriages a marriage is voidable under the section if one of the spouses challenges the validity of either of the grounds mentioned in section 25 of the special marriage act the evidence and facts indicate that being a registered marriage a notice was given in the month of may 2009 in the office of registrar and signature was obtained and thereafter given she went to the same place on 20th august 2009 and signed the papers the appellant was adult and graduate at the time of giving notice therefore it cannot be believed that she was deceived by the respondent under the pretext of providing job the first appellate court discussed the evidence of all the witnesses on the point of performance of registered marriage and rightly answered that the fact of fraud or undue influence by the respondent oblique husband is not proved it can be safely gathered from the evidence that it was a conscious decision of two adults to marry there was no fraud on the part of respondent oblique husband whether the wife intended to marry or not is immaterial however her consent was a conscious consent to marry him is proved in some cases the parties do not intend to marry each other however with knowledge they marry against their wishes and may give consent unwillingly however that consent cannot be said to be obtained with undue pressure or coercion stop